if it's 65% alcohol, because even some of the strongest shots out there, if you're 80 proof, you're around 40% yeah, alcohol. Right, that's the yeah. typical, that's you know, whether it's bourbon, whiskey. So this is one and a half times as much alcohol. So you could theoretically, you know, I hate to say this, but you could get drunk. So are they going to start to have that behind the counter? Like they have, you know, the antihistamines, yeah. so that exactly. you can't make cold remedies. Exactly. Or... But with such a high alcohol content, I mean, you can get in trouble mm -hmm. quick. really quickly. Mm -hmm. And we know what happens. First thing shuts down, you're breathing, respiratory distress. Well, and bad, yeah. you know, we've moved. Potentially lethal. Out of curiosity, what, what's your all's opinion? We've taken decongestants. Right. And put them behind, behind the, counter. the counter now, where you actually need to take the card and go get it because we know decongestants mm -hmm. can be used to make, make other things. not so uh, really bad. <laughs> yeah, drugs. So yeah. You know, vitamins and you, such. Here's the thing: one thing parents could do instead of buying the gels, maybe buy the foams. They're just made differently, or even uh, use the wipes, hand sanitizing wipes, because mm -hmm. uh, you won't have that all that alcohol or alcohol free. You can buy alcohol free right. sanitizers yeah. too. The biggest thing, though, if you're out there and ever considering drinking one of these. Understand there are inactive ingredients in here that are very bad for your health. It's not just the alcohol content that can do harm. The other ingredients in here are meant to be put on your skin, not in your body.